This is electrolytic capacitor. Here we have plus and over here we have minus. This capacitor is polarized capacitor. We use it for filtering purposes. This is inductor. Here we have another inductor. The inductor is used to stabilize the current in the circuit. This is basically ceramic capacitors to remove the noise in the circuit. Ceramic capacitors are not polarized like electrolytic capacitor. This is a fuse. As you can see over here we have F1 means fuse to protect the circuit. Here we have crystal. We have Y6 means crystal oscillator. Sometimes you can find crystal oscillator with X reference. So this is crystal oscillator. So this is diode. This is a normal diode, not Zener diode. Over here we have the Zener diode. The Zener diode has a blue line. Here we have the cathode and over here we have the anode. So these components are MOSFETs. We have source, three pins connected together. We have gate and we have drain, four pins connected together. Here we have ICs. This is one IC, this is another IC. So this component is a 10 term capacitor. We have the positive terminal and the negative terminal. Here, as you can see, we have another kind of 10 telem capacitor. This is polarized capacitor. So here we have resistors, normal resistors, and over here we have, as you can see here, network resistors. This is network resistors. Network resistors are gathered one, two, three, or more resistors in order to gain the space in the motherboard. This is the clock generator, I see. Near to it, we have the crystal oscillator, X. So the clock generator is the responsible for the clock or the timing in the whole motherboard. So here we have the processor, gemsage, and graphic card. All three chipsets connected in one chipset. So, and over here we have the ICH or the sort bridge. Basically, the ICH is the responsible for all parts in the motherboard. This is the BIOS, basic input output system. We have this hole here, means this is the pin number one. And over here we have pin number eight. Always in the pin number eight, you will find 3.3 volts without powering on the motherboard. So this is basically the charge circuit. You will find it usually near to the power jack or to the battery connector. Charge IC. Here we have two MOSFET switches. Here you will find 19 volt, 19 volt, 19 volt, and 19 volt. This is basically switches. And over here we have the super IO, is IO. The super IO is the responsible for the whole power in the motherboard. This circuit basically is for 3.3 volt. Here you will get 3.3 volt, here you will get 5 volt. Here we have pad as you can see. Pad, as you can see, this is also pad or test point. This is the audio control I see near to audio connectors. Here we have the CMOS battery slot. And over here we have a connected CMOS battery, 3 volt CMOS battery. So at reference, pay attention always. If you want to replace this battery, you should replace it with another with the same reference, CR2032. This is the reference for batteries for computer and laptops. For computer motherboards, this is basically electrolytic capacitors, inductor, MOSFET, IC, crystal oscillator, LED, buzzer, MOSFETs, the ICH or salt bridge, another kind of oscillator. We have ceramic capacitors and resistors. 
CPU socket where we have a lot of ceramic capacitors to remove the noise in the circuit. This is basically a motherboard for a router where we have the fuse, the input power plug, we have a switch, we have capacitors. This is basically electrotic capacitors to filter the voltage. Here we have electromagnetic interference. Here we have a diode, a protection diode. This is not a fuse. This is a bridge rectifier. Bridge rectifier. If we go back here, you will find, as you can see, four pins. So this is bridge rectifier. Here we have MOSFET IC, inductors, diode, MOSFET. Here we have basically the network card where we have many serum capacitors, the processor and many ICs. This is the heatsink and the heatsink we have the processor for the whole motherboard. This is the processor for the whole motherboard and this is the processor for just this daughter board, the network board. We have here LEDs, electrotic capacitors. This is RAM chips as you can see over here. This is THT transformers, ballast capacitors, fuse and diode and we have connectors. So for power electronic motherboards, as you can see, always we have the same working principle. Always the primary stage and the secondary stage where we have the input power, the fuse, the electromagnetic inter interference, capacitors for protection. Okay, we have diodes over here and we have the CTN resistor. We have, this is the bridge rectifier, as you can see over here. We have the transformer electrode capacitors and over here we have ballast capacitors this diode this is the short key diode it's not the same as the diodes over here basically this diode this is a very fast diode never replace this diode with one of this for example so we have resistors transistors optocoupler or opto isolator here we have the power ic the bridge rectifier, the Schutke diode, Zener diodes, and the input. So that's it guys, I hope that you enjoy a little bit the video. So please don't forget to like and share the video with interested people like you. And please be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell to stay updated for future videos like this one and for anyone who want to join me in my patreon page for more exclusive content you are very welcome thank you very much and see you in the next video